nous voilà rendus presque à la fin de, cette, de, ces, de ces finales et avec un match et quel match une quarantaine d'années séparent les deux prochains adversaires, Chris Vialet et euh, le très jeune Karl Enklud, simple, Enklud, simplement 15 ans suédois. Euh, avec nous, Matt, Matthew, still, uh, thank you for being with us. Matthew, that's a game, that's a big rendezvous between uh, a 15-year-old guy and a very experienced guy as well, uh, Chris uh, Vialet. Yeah, it should be a good match. You have uh, youth, power, and urethane against uh, a crafty veteran who's a proven winner. He's a great shot maker, and he's very, very determined. He's probably one of the hardest players I think I've ever bowled against in my career. So it's going to be a very, very good match, and I wish both the players the best of luck. And what uh, the player is going to have to do to go to the final? Uh, lots of very, very high level quality shots. That's what it's going to take. It's just going to take a lot of great shots and maybe uh, some good fortune. Pour aller en, en finale, il faudra un peu de chance, mais surtout beaucoup de talent. Eh C'est ce qu'on va voir euh, dans un instant. OK, thank you once again, Olivier and Matt, for that analysis. And here we are with the semifinal match of this Masters series. Our 21st of 22 videos we'll be bringing you as part of the bowling promotion tour. And here is Chris Vialli coming off his 279 to 200 win against Nora Johansson, taking on Nora's countryman, Carl Eklund, just 15 years old and full of power. And this is going to be, we think, an exciting match here. Let's see if Christopher can pick up where he left off which was all strikes except for one shot. And sure enough, beautiful pocket strike there by Christopher Vialli. And now let's get our first look. He says, I got your number, Mr. Eklund. So already Christopher Vialli, ever the tough competitor, looking, staring down Carl. And let's see how he responds. Carl, the powerful. And watch this backup ball he throws. And this has to be one of the most powerful backup balls we've ever seen. Got around that one. Comes up a little bit light for a 3-9 start. Once again, Carl just 15 years old. And look at that flexibility and power. Just didn't quite turn the corner. But the 3-9 split. And we have seen Carl come at various spare combinations in multiple ways. Let's see how he tackles the 3-9. And again, it's the backup shot and curves right into it. Beautiful spare there by Carl Eklund. And as we said, the winner faces Daria Payok for the title. Our second to last match will be bringing you as part of the 2021 Bowling Promotion Tour sponsored by Cubica AMF. Bruce Hall with you on the international voice of these matches, and it's my privilege to call these very exciting matches for you. Carl taking a small break here. Uh, is he checking the score? What's going on? Uh, I guess we're all set now to go. And Carl, let's see what he can do on this left lane. Now, the left lane has been hooking more for the right-handers, and quite often that means it's hooking a little bit less for the lefties, but there's a perfect pocket strike there by 15-year-old, can't stress it enough, 15-year-old Carl Eklund. And look at the power he gets out of that shot with his right-hand fingers in the backup position. Got to be one of the more dominant backup balls, as we said, we've ever seen. And here is Christopher Vialli on the right lane. Really, you combine Nora Johansson's power and two-hander with Carl Eklund's unique backup style. There's a couple of very, very interesting players coming out of Sweden as being showcased by this bowling promotion tour. And Christopher, look at that intensity. He's on the right-hand lane, a little bit tighter and a little bit high for a four-pin. And there's a... Got to consider that a break for Eklund because Vialli has barely missed in his matches here. And we see his shot there right over the middle. Just turned the corner a little bit too hard, leaving the, just the four pin. Christopher, of course, from the New England area in the U.S. And a prominent player in getting bowling into the Olympics. President of the New England Bowlers Association. 
and numerous other involvements in the game. And, of course, in his spare time, he's the president of Cambridge Credit Counseling, a credit counseling service for folks primarily in the U.S. So here's Bayali. You can see that pin-up Zen designed to get down the lane and then respond to the friction. A good ball for playing in, like Christopher is doing. And that is very deep. Gets it out. Comes up a little bit late. Rips the rack. And give him the strike. And now Eklund has a chance to take the lead here. A little bit like just hits the five pin over into the four seven. And there's that blower strike we're looking for. Sometimes you leave seven pins on hits like that. But a very good result there for Mr. Vialli. And here's Eklund now on the right lane. Last time he came up light for a 3-9. Will he make an adjustment here? And once again, gets around it, rips the rack. And there's a double and an early 10-pin lead for Eklund. I have to consider Eklund somewhat of the underdog in this match, not just because Vialli coming off a big game and comfortable in the pair, but just as uh, said earlier by Matt McNeil, the difference in experience and age and how tough a competitor Vialli is. But Eklund right now with the 10-pin lead. And another good-looking shot. Three absolutely perfectly flush strikes in a row for Eklund. This young man is all business. He says, okay, I threw it right. That's the right result. Now take a seat and watch Mr. Vialli. So cool and calm and collected is Carl Eklund in this match looking very strong. Now let's see if Vialli can answer. He's in an early 20-pin hole. Best he can do is double to try to catch up here. And carefully approaches the shot. A little bit right of his target there. Comes in a little late on the tighter lane and almost leaves the 7-10, but ends up being just the weak 10. He's like, how come that ball didn't turn the corner? And unfortunately, that lane a little bit lazy if you miss out to the right. And so Vialli will face just the 10 pin to stay 20 pins behind. And unfortunately, a flagged 10 pin there for Vialli is going to put him in an early hole. Namely, 32, pin 32 pins down already for Vialli by virtue of the fact that that ball hooked just a little bit by the 10th pin. Very unusual to see Christopher miss a spare like that. But unfortunately, that's what happened. And now he's in a deep hole. Better start striking right away against the powerful Eklund. And great shot there. No doubt about that one. And let's see if Eklund can just make this a runaway. If he threw a couple more strikes here, he'd be 58 ahead. 52 ahead, excuse me. And here he goes, knowing he has a golden opportunity here. Once again, the winner faces Daria Pajok, high qualifier from Poland, Karl Eklund had the highest raw score in qualifying, 232.59. There's a weak seven, which you don't often say for a right-hander. But when you throw a backup ball, that's what happens. And he got that right over 12. So that's right around where the seam is. Just a little bit late to the pocket. And there is a weak seven. Now let's watch how Carl approaches this spare. And this is a normal turn into the spare. What He's got the best of both worlds going on that spare game because he can hook into the 10 pin from the left side of the lane and hook into the 7 pin from the right side of the lane, giving him the best angle on all of those spares. So what an advantage he's got right away. 7 pins usually being the bane of left-handers 
Uh, being the righty, he can hook into it with no trouble there. Thirty-one pin lead now for Eklund, but Viali working on a strike. And let's see if he can get himself back in the match. And looks like another pretty good shot and another beautiful flush strike for Carl Eklund. He had just that one misstep in the first frame, leaving the three nine. Other than that, he's been in the pocket and just leaving that week seven. So Viali, really a couple of important frames here, Viali. He can cut this lead down to 11 if he can get a couple of strikes here. And let's see what he does. Christopher, of course, hosting some of the contestants on this tour over in the US. Sarah Hood, Carl Buckley, Halvar Hagar Nielsen, and there's a beautiful shot there by Viali. He came to play. He's not just going to let this be a runaway. From 31 to 21, that strike got him. And that one's going to turn the corner just perfectly. The last one didn't quite so much on this lane, but that one was perfect. And now Viali can cut it to 11 with another strike here. He has not missed on this left-hand lane. His problems have all been on the right lane, which he managed to strike on last time for the first time in the match. If he can continue his streak on this left lane, he will get the match within 11. Maybe he's taking a re-rack here. Some kind of a, yeah, it looks that way, yep. Sometimes the pins just don't set Right, the pocket looks tight. Maybe the six pins off a little bit, the three pins off a little bit. Always worth looking at the rack you're shooting. Make sure that you don't leave a 10 pin before you even take your first step on the approach. Most competitions allow for two re-racks per game. The United States USPC rule is unlimited re-racks per game. but most competitions do allow two per game. Yeah, a pretty good shot, rips through it. Oh, but he gets it left. And that's gonna be a three, six. Now Christopher just made the, is making the wrong mistake in the wrong lane. If he had made that wide mistake on this lane, I think he would have got it. And this one, he just gets a little bit left of target and maybe didn't quite get the speed to get it to the break point. Comes up for the 3-6 combination. And very important spare here for Christopher and unfortunately gets the chop. Uh, no break there. And well, he thought he might be able to get himself back into this match. He's now 35 behind. He got the double, but gave it right back with the open. So here's Eklund on a strike. And he can make this make this a runaway. If he gets the next two, he can basically close this out. By Viali with a 214 maximum at this point. And Eklund cannot carry the 10 on the mixer hit. And got that one a little bit left of target, I think, and it caught a little oil in the front part of the lane. Excuse me, right of target, inside of target. I think it went a little longer down the lane. Didn't quite make the corner as hard as he would have liked. And he knew this could have basically closed up the match for him. But he leaves the, just the 10 pin. And there I believe is the iconic spare shot that we've seen at the beginning of these matches. And that's that backup 10 pin conversion. And once again, the best of both worlds. If you can throw a backup to the right-hand spares and your regular shot to the left-hand spares, Amy Viali also takes that approach, and it definitely can help increase your spare percentage, but it does require some practice because the backup shot is not always as natural as the, as the four shot. So another beautiful shot there by Eklund. 
retaining his lead. 35 pins now. He's cruising at a 219 pace. So Viali would need to strike out and get some help from Eklund. So two essential strikes here for Christopher. Yeah, right over fourth arrow and a little bit late. Gets the rolling two pin. And that was the break he needed right there. And watch this come a little bit late. Once again, the tighter lane. Well, he says, oh, that shot was terrible. And he walks away and everyone starts clapping and he goes, what? <laughs> and he gets the two pin from behind and essentially keeps him in the match. He was not happy with that shot, obviously. But here he is now with a chance to cut it to 25 and really make Eklund show up for these last two frames. And can he get the roller? Oh, can't get the roller. Won't go. And now Mr. Viali may be done in this competition. His 214 maximum just went down to 194 by virtue of that miss. And he converts the spare. But a 194 maximum now for Christopher Carl Eklund really just needs to show up in these next couple of frames. And he will face Daria Pioke. And very, very quick to the shot. There is the slap seven. And that will do it. Carl Eklund, that's all he needs to advance. And pull Daria Pioke for the finals of this 2021 Bowling Promotion Cup Master Series. Once again, shout out to Bruno Bedone and his crew for the wonderful production job they have done putting on this, this competition and producing the videos. There's another strike. Eklund taking a victory lap now. You can visit BowlingPromotionTour.com for information on the 2022 Bowling Promotion Cup. Contact Bruno and ask about that. He's signing up players right now. They film in September. And a wonderful time by anyone who's ever gone. And Eklund pulling it out here. An inconsequential split as Eklund has won this match handily. And Christopher just had some bad luck on making the wrong mistake in the wrong lane. Had one miss spare and there's a 235 game for young Carl Eklund, just 15 years old, will now face Daria Pioke for this Masters title. And we'll watch Christopher bowl this out. And he switches balls now. Unfortunately, well, that ball did not quite make the corner. And Christopher's going to end up with the spare in the 180s. Once again, Bruce Hall with you. Thanks so much for watching these matches. Tune in for the final. Daria Pioke against Carl Eklund. That should be some fireworks on that match. And once again, we'll see how Daria responds to the lane play that's gone on. She's going to be in the same zone as Christopher. And will she be able to overcome? And here's Viali moving to the left hand. And, boy, that's a pretty good release. And gets the trip six. And like we said for the week seven for the righty, we don't say trip six very often for the for the right-hander. Uh, interesting finish there by Mr. Viali. So 182 final. Everyone, please stay tuned for interviews with the participants. And we will see you back here on this same YouTube channel for the final. It's Eklund versus Pioke. Take care, everyone. Et la finale opposera donc Karl Eklund, le Suédois qui a battu Christopher Vialet.
euh, 235 à 182. Une finale entre Karl Ekloud et Daria Payok dans un instant. Mais d'abord, euh, Chris, disappointment or was it too good for you? All good. He just had a, he had a good look and played good. That's all. I'm happy. Il a bien joué, euh, Karl a bien joué, et donc eh ben, c'est la, la logique qu'il a emporté. Et Karl, are you happy to win this game and be in the in the final? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It was. Uh... What made the difference in this game? I think the warm-up played a pretty big role, but he shot 279, so I was forced to do something. I didn't want him to shoot 279 against me, so I had to do something. Il fallait qu'il fasse quelque chose et il l'a fait. Karl Eklund qui se retrouve donc en, en finale face à Daria Payok. C'est euh, bah dans un instant. Thank you very much. Thank you.